everyone! Today we've got a cute little crochet quick fix for you. We're going to make these adorable little five petal flower earrings. So grab some embroidery floss and a couple of hook back earrings and let's get started. In order to make our little five petal flower earrings, you're going to want to use some crochet thread or embroidery floss. I'm using embroidery floss today. This is 100% cotton in two colors. You need about a yard and a half for your center or the flower center color. I'm using yellow and around three or four yards for the flower color itself. You want a pair of scissors, a little needle uh, with an eye large enough that your embroidery floss can pass through it. You're going to want a pair of hook back earrings with the little loop or the adjustable a little ring down here at the bottom and a small pair of needle nose flyers that just makes manipulating that little loop on the bottom of the hook earring easier and the hook we're using is a size 2.25 millimeter it's also known as a b or a one in the u.s possibly a 13 if you have old hooks from the uk and once you've got all that together we can get started we're going to be using our original little five petal flower applique pattern and we'll link the tutorial for that down below just in case you want to see it done with a larger hook and a larger yarn. We also move a little slower in that particular pattern so that might be helpful if you have trouble seeing the small yarn I'm using and I am going to move a little quicker through this pattern since we've done the tutorial once before. We're going to begin with our center color and we're going to start with a cinch circle and when you're working small, you just want to slow down and take your time because it does feel different than when we work with our regular sized hooks and yarn. We're going to be working 10 single crochet into our cinch circle. Remember to work over top of that short tail because we want to cinch our circle shut when we're done. Our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show and we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. Once you've worked 10 single crochet into that little cinch circle, count them up, make sure you have 10, grab your short tail, cinch the circle shut nice and tight and we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet we made which is very tight. Here it is down here. I'm just going to try and get my hook through it. Come on. There we go. And slip stitch to join. So tight little fit. You'll have 10 centimeter, or I should say 10 cent, 10 single crochet all the way around your center. And you can take a moment now to snip your yarn or your thread in this case. Fasten off. Ooh, it's small work. There we go. And you can weave in your short tails or work over top of them, which is what I'm going to be doing. So let's grab our color for our petals now and we'll move on to the flower. We're going to take our petal color and we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch in the stitch just before where we fastened off. So this little guy right here just before that fastened off knot. We're going to join with a slip stitch. There we go. And now we're going to start our first petal. We're going to chain two into the same place that we joined our yarn, so the same stitch. We're going to work two single crochet. two single crochet, chain two, and slip stitch into the same stitch. So all that is worked into the same stitch for one little petal. I'll just flatten it out here. So chain two, two double crochet, chain two, slip stitch to join, and that is one petal worked into the same stitch. We're going to skip over that little tiny knot where we fastened off, find the next single crochet along the center, I'm just going to work over top of all these tails and single crochet. So in between our petals, we're single crocheting just to create a nice little spacer. Slip stitch into the next stitch and make another petal. Chain two, two double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch all into the same little stitch. So here we go. 
petal, single crochet, petal. Single crochet into the next stitch along the center of your flower and then start another petal. Slip stitch into the next stitch, chain two, two double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch and you can finish off the rest of the row. You're going to work another petal, a single crochet, another petal, and a single crochet. And I'll hook up with you at the end. Once you've single crocheted into the last stitch, you can join with a slip stitch in the first place that you started. So in the same place that you joined where you worked that first petal. Snip your thread, fasten off. There we go. Take a moment to just sort of peel out all of those little petals. There we go. And then flip it over, grab your little needle and weave those tails, any that you've got left out. So the same color to the same color. If your yellow tails are out, weave them in around the center. And if your red tails or your petal colors are out, weave them in underneath your petal stitches. Next, you're going to decide which way up your little flower looks best. So it helps to sort of pull out all of those little petals and decide which way you want it to sort of hang from your earring. I think I'm going to use this as the top petal. Then you're going to take your earring back and your wire nose pliers and you're just going to pull out that ring a little bit. So you see I've pulled it out just enough that I can slip that hook into the top stitch of my petal. Now when I'm wearing the earring, this is going to go through my ear, which means my petal has to be facing out towards me. So with the right side facing me, I'm going to just slip that hook through the top very carefully through both loops of that top little stitch. This is tiny work. That's one loop. Come on. There we go. So both loops of the top part of that stitch are now through my little little adjustable ring. I take my needle nose pliers and I very carefully bend it back into place so that it sits up against the back. Real simple little jewelry thing there. And now it's hanging properly on my earring, all ready to wear. And there we go, a really cute pair of five petal flower earrings based on our original five petal flower tutorial. And once again, we've got that linked down below in case you wanna see it with a bigger hook, bigger yarn, and in a bit of a slower base. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed making this sweet little crochet quick fix along with us this week. And we'll see you again soon here on the Jade and Stitches Show. Till then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a great week. Bye everybody. Hi everybody, Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!